What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Chris, aka Mr. 540, 540 TV in the building. I'm installing this 10 inch screen in my Chevy Tahoe. All right, I did purchase this item off of Amazon, and I will put the link in the description. Um, pretty much this video will be just showing how to take the panels off and also install this radio. This radio did come with a reverse camera. Um, I won't be going through that, but I may make a separate video containing that. Um, I will plug it up, but uh, you probably won't see the install of that camera. All right. So it's pretty much the install of this 10 inch Amazon radio. All right, let's get to it. All right, so what we need to do is first um, pry this off. I did kind of start already. So just get your whatever pry tool. I just got a flathead. Stuck, stuck a flathead in back there, between there, between the bezel. All All right, now we're gonna attack these seven millimeter screws. This is a seven millimeter. I get it to focus in. Well, you know it's a seven millimeter. Here's six bolts. We're just gonna throw these bolts in our um, cup holder or change holder. Wherever you wanna put it, just to make sure you keep up with the bolts. So I'm currently working on the right side. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Like this video. Also leave a comment in the comment section if this video was helpful or you just like you know the current part of this video now usually I do a time lapse but I'm not gonna do a time lapse this time you're gonna see the full tear down I think this will be the first video on YouTube of a Tahoe with this radio in it. I've seen another video, but the guy really didn't go down the walk down of this installation, but then it won't on a Tahoe either, so. So we're gonna knock this out. Um, this radio unit does connect to my um, flip down radio, flip down TV screen, but I don't use that screen anyway. I have screens in my seats, passenger and driver head wrench. And there are two more screws at the very bottom that I failed to mention. I just took this one out on this side, so I'm working on this last one. So it's eight screws in all, four on each side. All right, so now let's take the radio out. If you just grab both pieces, and then it should separate just like that. All 
All right, we're gonna pretty much just unplug the antenna here. Should come straight up. Antenna. This cable here, connector. Next connector. And the next connector. All right, so I connected some of the wires already. Unfortunately, um, this unit does not come with any brackets. Um, so I will probably have to fabricate something to hold this screen in. Um, you know, don't know what I'm gonna do with that, but I'm gonna figure it out and I will be back as soon as I have the unit um, connected to here. Good, all right. All right, so I did have to go buy this, um, this bypass unit from my local um, audio store, this Retain OnStar for 06 and up. And here is the model number, G-M-O-S-L-A-N-02. And I pretty much have it, um, everything connected. And basically what this does is bypasses the, um, well, not bypass, but actually uses the Bose system. Um, I did have the regular harness and everything was plugged up. The radio came on and everything, but no sound came out. But this is actually what's needed to bypass everything. So it pretty much just connected here um, to these connectors. So you, you're not gonna use, um, so you're not gonna use this connector here, but you're gonna just use those two there. All right, and you know it connected to the regular harness of the radio. All right, and of course, you know, I got the, it's being stretched out here, but this is for the antenna. All right, I'll be back as soon as I get everything pushed back and the radio and everything gets installed. All right, so we do have a couple more connectors that we do need to connect before we close this up. Um, this is for your backup camera. Let's find which one it goes in. All right. Uh, this is for your amp out. I do have a wire. All right, now let's go to our USB. Now we're, we'll reroute these also. And now the second USB. Our backup camera, we will install this on later on. All right, so basically I'm just tightening up these screws, holding my AC control unit.
I am going to um, mute the music so I don't get copyrighted. But it's just to show you that it is working. Um, and it is like covering that little gap that was there. y'all enjoyed the video um and this unit does have navigation it has bluetooth it has wi-fi um it is a complete android pretty much tablet in a way i could download apps let's see um i can put music on it to you make sure you subscribe to the channel um, 540 TV make sure you like and comment and make sure you hit the post notification bell so every time I upload you get all notifications all right thank you for watching